writing rings and it had like fragrance and some other stuff in there and I'm like what the hell they told me this was like natural so I've been doing a lot of shopping lately trying to find more healthy and organic products or less toxic products I should say products. I've been using the think dirty app the EWG app and also the EWG website it's been a really good resource not all these products I was able to find on EWG app or on Think Dirty app, but what I did instead was I found all the ingredients online and I copied and pasted it into the EWG build your own report. So there's a button when you go to EWG skin deep and then on the right hand side it says build your own report. You type in all the ingredients or paste all the ingredients in because I really didn't want to type them in one by one. So I just searched online for the product, copy the ingredients, paste it in, and then it gives you a report. I'll talk a little bit more about that in the video, but for now, let's jump in and let me show you guys what I bought. Okay, so one of the first things I bought is these this Dr. Bronner's Castile Soap. I believe this is almond. I know it says a scent on here somewhere, but whatever, I cannot find it right now. You can use it for almost anything. It tells you on the bottle what you can do with it. So you can wash your, oh, duh. Wash your face, wash your body, wash your hands, foot bath, makeup brushes, shaving, and hair. This is rated a one. And I picked up this bottle for $8. This one I picked up from Marshalls. Along with that Dr. Bronner's theme, I picked up their all-in-one toothpaste. This one was $5. This is also rated a one on the apps. And it's just toothpaste. There's not much to say about that. One, $5 Marshalls. To replace my Mac Fix Plus, I picked up this Evian facial spray. Um, this was rated a two on the app. This was $8.99, but it's a huge bottle. There's 10 ounces in here. And honestly, I, the Fix Plus is not, it doesn't make your makeup stay. To me, it just makes it look not so cakey. And I thought this might be a good dupe for it. So I'm gonna try it out. I actually haven't tried it yet, but I will be doing that soon. Okay, this product I have actually used already. It's the Fido, I believe it's pronounced Fido. It might be Fido or Fido, I don't remember. I used to work at a beauty salon. I don't know why, I don't know. This is a clarifying detox shampoo. This was $8 and it's 4.62 ounces. This was rated a two on the app and I love it, you guys. It's so clarifying, you only need a very little bit of shampoo. I don't wash my hair every day because I bleach my hair and it's very dry. So this has been like a lifesaver, I love it. So a good brand to check out at Marshalls and TJ Maxx is this one. I believe it's pronounced a cure. A lot of their products have green ratings or low, less toxic ratings on the EWG and the Think 30 apps. This one is the brightening night cream and this one was rated a zero. Now their packaging did change. So when you scan the product at the bottom with the app, it might look a little different, but they did change their packaging. This one was $6. I love this stuff. I use it at night after washing my face or if I'm going out at night and doing my makeup, I'll put this on first and then do my makeup. Now all their products have good ratings. Definitely scan them. What I love about Marshalls and TJ Maxx too is that if you buy something, you can bring it home, you can type in the ingredients or whatever, find it online, paste the ingredients in, and then decide if, it, if you wanna keep it or not, if it has a good rating on the report. One thing I will mention about the report though, you guys, not every single ingredient comes up all the time. So you have to actually go through and make sure that all the ingredients, so if an ingredient is wrong or it's, you're missing a comma or you put a comma in in between two words where there shouldn't be two words, then it won't, that, that ingredient won't come up. So you have to actually go in and make sure that the ingredients, all the ingredients are listed to get an accurate rate. Next product was this Pacifica Pink Nude Eyeshadow Palette. It's been really hard to find like clean-ish eyeshadow palettes. I'm gonna try this one out. It says it's coconut infused mineral eyeshadow, 100% vegan and cruelty free. This one it says rated one. Um, I think for this one, I actually had to type in the ingredients though, I'm not sure. I picked this one up at Target and do remember, you guys can also get this on Amazon, but do remember that if you get it at Target and it's cheaper on the app that they will price match you, which is what I did for this app. 
for this app, which is what I did for this palette. So this product I picked up from TJ Maxx and it was $10. This is the Badger Face Cleansing Oil. This is amazing. So I use this to take my makeup off. So you just do a few pumps in your hand, you massage it on your face, and then you use like a warm washcloth and just like let it sit for a little bit and it just like wipes all the makeup off and your face just feels so clean and not stripped and dry i'm really feeling this this is rated a two i think for the most part badger this brand um a lot a lot of their products are pretty good on the think dirty app as well they do have this on amazon too but i think it's 20 dollars on amazon so i would check first at tj maxx or marshall's and see if you can find it there okay so i picked up a few things from amazon this one is the burt's bees blush this is rated a zero on one of the apps it's in toasted cinnamon so i'm really excited to try this super happy that it's a zero this is something that if i love is probably going to be a repurchase I'll probably stick with this blush because it's been really hard to find blushes and bronzers that are less toxic. Also from Amazon, this is one of the first things I picked up and to be honest, I'm not too crazy about it. It's um, unrefined shea butter. It just smells like a farm to me. It smells like goat. Somebody said it has like a woodsy smell, but it is raw, virgin, organic supposed to help with dry and acne prone skin Del delicate skin or eczema it has no additives no preservatives i got this initially i'm like i'm gonna like use this to moisturize my skin and stuff but i'm not crazy about the scent so okay guys so this i've used before and i'm probably gonna keep using this um for like facial masks that's what i use yeah. duh so i think everybody uses this as a face mask this was rated a two on the app it's just the Aztec Secret Indian Healing, Healing Clay. It's a deep pore cleansing. It's 100% natural calcium bentonite clay. This stuff is like a OG, like my grandparents used to use this for what? I don't know. So basically you just grab um, some of this green powder. And I don't know if you can see that. Okay, so basically, um, I don't know if you guys seen that, but you mix this with apple cider vinegar or water. I did mine with apple cider vinegar. You just let it sit on your face and it cleans out your pores. I used this like, I think a year or two back and I was having like this really like weird rash or allergic reaction on my face. And I put this on and I swear like it cleared everything up. But anyways, so this is supposed to be more natural. So I think instead of buying like those sheet masks that you get at Forever 21 or Sephora or whatever, and they have like a crap load of chemicals, you can just use this in apple cider vinegar and this will clear out your pores. And it was only, okay, I can't find the price. I think I ripped the price off you guys. I wanna say it was like six bucks though at Marshalls. I know I got it at Marshalls. This is the La Vanilla, Vanilla, La Vanilla. I don't know how to say it. So they have perfumes, deodorants, body washes. It's supposed to be all natural ingredients, 100% healthy, no harsh chemicals. This was $8. It's a deodorant. Um, now, when I did find it in the app, and I think it was rated like, it says five. However, it said it was rated a five because of the fragrance. Now, with this, the fragrance said botanical fragrance. To me, if it says fragrance and it says from natural ingredients or from using essential oils or something like that like i will use it i picked this up i don't mind that i think this brand is like all natural so i'm gonna check it out you guys eyelash glue so there's some eyelash glues that had like have formaldehyde in it and like all these other nasty ingredients and you're putting that like on your eyeballs so definitely research your eyelash glues before you buy them I just picked up the Tardiest Pro. Well, this is my second bottle. This is rated a one on EWG and it is the clear one. The one that's black, I think it has a higher rating. Not sure off the top of my head what it is, but this one is rated a one. It's clear. You can pick this up on the Tarte website at Sephora and you can pick it up at Ulta. Chapsticks. Chapsticks you put on your mouth on the daily my lips are always chapped because i'm always dehydrated because i don't drink enough water i've been using now the burt's bees chapsticks 
be aware that not all of them have good ratings. I don't know why some of them have better ratings than others. Definitely check them out before you buy them. The coconut one says three and then I'm not sure. I don't remember the strawberry one off the top of my head. Along with Burt's Bees, their mascara. So they have a mascara, a different one that's rated as zero on one of the apps. They didn't have that mascara in store, so I picked up this one. This is a newer mascara, and I'm hoping that this one also will be a zero rating. I have not checked the ingredients yet because I literally just bought it last night and I wanted to post this video. So hold off on buying this if you're planning on doing that until I do my full face video by then. Hopefully, I should be checking the ingredients on this one bronzers i mentioned earlier that it's really hard to find like clean non-toxic bronzers i was able to find this one on amazon it's called han skincare cosmetics it's a pressed bronzer i think i paid like somewhere around ten dollars for this it is pretty small that's what it looks like guess we'll just have to wait and see how that works so this is from amazon you guys if you want a natural toner, you can use just all natural rose water. This I picked up from a little shop, it's just genuine rose rock, bleh, rose water. It's all natural, it's, it's organic. So I don't know if you guys are anything like me. I am so lazy sometimes to wash my face at night. I know that's horrible, but I am, especially when I go out and have drinks and I come home and I just, I don't feel like it. So I rely on face wipes. It's been really hard to find face wipes that don't have a bunch of bad chemicals in them. So what I have been using are these St. Ives Dry and Sensitive Skin Wipes. These I got from Marshalls for $3. Now I did try some other St. Ives ones and I hated them. I think it was like normal to combination skin. They were scented. I hated them. I threw them away. These ones are alcohol free. No artificial fragrance are made with aloe and almond oil. and I believe i just typed in all the ingredients and this, these were pretty good another brand that's good that you can pick up at marshall's or tj maxx is the avalon organics i also use those i think i was able to find them on the app and i want to say they were rated about a two if i remember correctly sorry i don't have them with me they're at my boyfriend's house make sure you guys check the face wipes especially because whatever ingredients are in these they're staying on your skin like you're not rinsing it off after you wipe wipe your face down or at least I don't so make sure you guys are using wipes that don't have really bad chemicals in them all right y'all I am so excited about this one so if you guys watched my video about the products that I was getting rid of one of the products that I mentioned was my Maybelline super stay foundation which I love that foundation super full coverage drugstore price it was amazing but it was really bad for me so they now came out with the super stay foundation stick which i love foundation sticks they're so easy to use you just wipe them on and with the brush you just blend it out and you're done now with that i will say the downside is you get a very little bit of product this is how much product you get that sucks i think i paid about nine something for this foundation it is rated a two they did not have it on the app but i typed in all the ingredients and it was rated a two which is considered in the green zone so i'm excited about that it's only nine dollars but you know what for nine dollars it's not bad i was buying the hourglass foundation stick i think that one's like 40 something almost 50 bucks it is more product but it's like hey if i can buy five of these for the price that i would pay for one of those and this one's actually like a good rating you're winning i've been purchasing a lot of oils both from amazon and tj maxx and marshall's one of the ones i recently picked up is the pure rosehip seed oil so supposedly there's a lot of health benefits to this these kind of oils they're all organic and natural and you can use them on your face or whatever i do want you guys to make sure when you buy these oils you're looking at the ingredients because sometimes i think i picked one up and it said rosehip oil and it had like 10 ingredients and then rosehip oil so which means like since it was one of the last products on the ingredients list it had like the least amount the product has the least amount of that this one literally has two ingredients rosehip oil 99% and it has 1% of vitamin E to preserve the freshness of the oil this one was six dollars at TJ Maxx and yes yeah, so I'm gonna try this haven't tried it yet I will be using this uh, probably as a nighttime facial oil now this product I'm pissed about because I was watching YouTube videos and somebody I don't remember who because I don't normally watch their videos I just stumbled upon it recommended this I ordered it online I think it was like from across 
the ocean across the sea somewhere in Europe or whatever. So I'm not going to return it, but they like highly recommend it. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to get this. It's the Madara Organic Skincare Sunflower Golden Beige Tinting Fluid. This is what it looks like. And I mean, it sounds good, you know, natural and organic. And then I'm reading the ingredients and I see it has fragrance, aroma fragrance. Mind you, I'm not picky. If it says fragrance and it says it's from essential oils or from a natural something source or something, I'll use it. I'm not that picky, but this doesn't say that. However, I already bought it. I paid $30 for it. I'm gonna use it. So this is something else that I found at TJ Maxx. This is the Love Beauty Foods face mask, another face mask. This one is a vitamin C booster, 100% natural and vegan, made in Australia. This has three ingredients, you guys. Organic tapioca starch, pharmaceutical grade L ascorbic acid, which is vitamin C, and organic aloe barbanesis leaf juice extract, which I believe that's aloe vera juice. Three ingredients, that's it. That's the kind of stuff you want to be putting on your face. And this one was actually on clearance for $4.50, regularly $5.99 though. This you just mix with water. I don't even know if you'll be able to find it again, but I just wanted to say like these, that's what you guys want to look for. I know it's time consuming, but if you're shopping, turn it around and look at the ingredients, read it. If it has five ingredients, that's good. You can type those in and figure out, you know, is this good for me or not? So I went to Sephora and I was asking for perfume and they recommended this one perfume which smelled amazing. I bought it in a like small travel size spray and then I went home and I read the ingredients and it had like fragrance and some other stuff in there and I'm like, what the hell? They told me this was like natural. I went on the website, did not say anything about it being like a natural fragrance derived from nature or whatever. So I'm gonna return that. But in the meantime, I did purchase this. So this is a Skylar perfume palette. It has five or six, six little travel size, not even travel size, they're like trial size perfumes. When you open it, it tells you like which ones you can mix to create like a signature scent or whatever. Now with the ingredients, this does say that it has fragrance. However, it says Skylar's own fragrance blend with natural and essential oils. I can work with that. It's perfume. I mean, the smell has to come from somewhere, right? Whew. Okay, guys, I hope that video wasn't too long. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, as I mentioned before, I will be doing a full face video using a lot of these products. So if that's something you want to see, make sure you subscribe to my channel. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and make sure you share it share this video teach your friends let your friends and your family know that they are probably using really bad chemicals on their skin like i really want to get this information out there you guys need to pass it along inform people i probably look like a weirdo i was like sitting like with a hunchback the whole time to make sure i was in the frame hopefully i was in the frame because i can't even tell